could go all the way. For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Snip of the Mad Cheese, as always. Got some explosive passing plays and an entire passing offense for you guys out of what might be my favorite play we use right now based off the fact that it's one of the most fun in the game, the Arizona Cardinals. Today, I'm going to be going over some passing plays, but if you guys didn't catch part one, the run plays, I will leave a link in the description. The run plays might be the funnest part of this offense, but realistically, these pass plays are definitely OP. This isn't going to be like my typical one-play touchdown video where I show you one play that hits a one-play touchdown against every single video. Pretty much, you need a different play against every single defense to hit a one play touchdown so you got to be pretty good at reading defenses i'm going to try to focus on the one play touchdowns in this video though if you guys want to see some more dink and dunk type Woo! of pass plays or a full breakdown of this offense hit the like button in the comment section as always the first play that i'm going to start off with is a very unique play that's really best against cover two zones so since i typically start off with cover two zone i'm going to go ahead and start off with this particular play here the six eight nine hook this particular play is something i've shown a lot in the past it's just a very good play when it comes to um pretty much any coverage there is another specific round this play is very good against cover two zone so let's go and let's pick that we're gonna go i'm gonna pick cover two on the other side once again as always this video is brought to my coin sponsor aoh.com if you guys are trying to get your mutt team up you're trying to do a, a last minute team build or you're trying to get the rookie premieres done uh you don't have enough coins you don't have enough currency check them out link in the description below and use discount code money to get three percent off it's always guaranteed to be the cheapest coins on the market the route that the b route is running is a very good cover two zone beater you just have to run it from a hash mark to the open side of the field because you will need some space for a throw but you don't really have to make any adjustments you'll see that typically the b route does a pretty good job of getting around the jam and then works its way back outside to the open spot in a cover to safety the a route's a pretty good zone beater as well if you put the x route on an outside uh out route on a 10 yard out route a lot of times the a route can get open right over the middle as well for a very big play if you time it correctly so basically both receivers on the right side are very big plays against cover cover two zone and potential one play touchdowns so no real adjustments needed the x route does keep the linebacker at home a lot of times but like i said it's a very um you know you got to time that throw very well uh to make that play but still very explosive plays going on here for cover two zone now this route is also very good against cover three and cover one man let's go and let's pick the six eight nine hook one more time we're gonna pick a cover three sky once again you have to run from a hash mark to the open side of the field because it's a cover three and a cover one one play touchdown but all you have to do is put the x route here on a five yard out route and then smart route about 10 yards block the y route for pass blocking and this is going to be it the a route is going to be an easy one play touchdown as you're going to see as essentially i mean i got to buy time in the pocket that's probably going to be the hardest part but you can see how hopkins basically gets across the safety and is the cornerback is nowhere to be found in madden 22 these 10 yard out routes do a very good job of holding cornerbacks down like i said the hardest part is going to be pass blocking so i do have a little extra pass pro i typically like to roll in the direction of the throw but you can see hopkins definitely gets separation and it's an easy 50 yard bomb if i had a faster receiver it'd probably be even easier but you can see it's a very easy one play touchdown so that's a very glitchy play against cover two cover three and cover two man uh, we really didn't go over cover four or cover one so let's go ahead and let's go over cover one first for those defenses you're going to need a play like this the pa flood which is a very glitchy play highlighting a very glitchy route which i've been showing in a couple different plays recently let's go and let's pick that on the defensive side let's start off with cover one robber this particular play whether you're running it against cover one or cover four you're either going to want it from a hash mark to the open side of the field or at the very least motion this particular receiver in so you can get across the field as fast as possible other than that you just want to shorten the b route i would say just put the a route and the b route on drags you can put the a route on like a zig or something like that just make sure they're on short routes i can block both my running backs too i don't really need them doing either of the things they're doing although if i put the y route on a streak that will help against cover one man which is what i'm looking at right now so at the end of the day this is definitely a good look you can see how the x route really just toasts 
the uh, the cornerback there. If I had a little bit of a faster receiver in that spot, that'd probably be optimal. Now I did go and put a faster receiver at the X spot. This particular route is very unique. I said it was like a route that I've shown in other plays, but it's really not because this particular route breaks twice. Now at the very least, you want to run this from a hash mark to the short side of the field, but it would be best to motion this receiver in so it gets to go across the field as quick as possible. Other than that, you just need short routes. I can either put these guys on zigs, which will beat man, or drags, which will beat man. Although I accidentally hiked the ball. <laughs> we're going to go ahead and we're going to run it like this uh, based on the fact that I, I didn't mean to do that. But you can see this receiver gets across the, the man coverage. It gets across the safety. It's a very easy one-play touchdown. This play is probably best, though, against cover four. So let's go ahead and let's pick that again. On the defensive side, we have to leave this formation. We have to go to the dollar to find a, a natural cover for drop contain. So once again, all you really have to do is put the A route and the B route on drags, block your running backs one more time, and then I like to motion in this receiver one more time just so he gets across the field a lot quicker. This is, like I said, it's very similar to some routes that I've highlighted in previous videos where this X route, for whatever reason, just gets behind the cornerback for a very big play as we get a one-play touchdown. It's not the exact same route, but it has the exact same effect. But for whatever reason, the cornerback doesn't react to it properly and lets him get behind him. Now, if I had a slightly better receiver, I know this is a rookie, he's fast, but you can see he gets behind the cornerback before the cornerback can flip his hips, and it's a very easy catch and run one-play touchdown against pretty much any cover four. This this play, oddly enough, will have more success if you run it from a hash mark to the short side of the field. Some cover four bombs are like that. So if you run it from the hash mark to the short side of the field, you'll notice that you can have even more success because the cornerback and the safety just react differently based off of the fact that they're so condensed. You'll see here, once again, we have the exact same effect. Receiver gets past the cornerback, although here you just have less catch and run space. So that's pretty much the caveat. So the only defense we haven't really touched on is cover four quarters. Let's go and let's pick the PA flood one more time. We'll go back to our nickel and we'll find a cover four match in a cover four quarters right here. This play will have the exact same success against cover four quarters that did the man coverage. It'll essentially, um, you know, basically cross up the cornerback and the safety. You just have to make one adjustment. You just have to put the B route on a slant. That's all you really have to do. The slant will be enough to basically confuse the safeties and the cornerbacks. And you can see how the X route here basically just gets right past the cornerback who is really supposed to be covering them the entire time. If you don't make that slant adjustment, essentially the safety will help out. But you can see he's still, you know, even with that adjustment like that, even with just without making any adjustment at all, it still beats the coverage very easily. It's probably beneficial to motion this receiver in. If you saw in that last play, I did forget to make that slant adjustment. So basically the cornerback from the B receiver was pulled back in a position where he could still make a tackle. But uh, ultimately motion this guy in, I mean here now he's just completely wide open. So this is definitely one of the glitchiest routes. Uh, but ultimately, I mean, none of the deep quarter coverage guys actually recognize that receiver at all. But this route is super glitchy when it comes to any type of man coverage. Really has trouble with it. The slant is really just to keep from pulling back that cornerback. And it'll give you a good check down. If you motion in the uh, the receiver, though, a lot of times he'll get completely forgotten by the safety and the cornerback and end up being covered by the linebacker or even nobody. As you can see right here, the linebacker, for whatever reason, thought it was his responsibility. Uh, it's just a super glitchy route that Cover 4 has a hard time covering. So that's it. That's the vid. If you guys want to see more from this offense, because I have more plays, I'll have them on my Patreon, I'll have them on my Join Now community tab. Hit the like button, let me know in the comment section. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.